Hey everyone, testosterone is a male hormone and an anabolic steroid. It's responsible for increasing muscle and bone mass. It also helps in the growth of your body hair. Sometimes your body doesn't produce the proper amount of testosterone. Starting from smoking to obesity to diabetes, there are many reasons for not having enough. In today's video, we'll talk about all the problems that may lead to low levels of testosterone. Number 1. Depression There's been a lot of talk regarding depression and the way it's affected us over the years. While it's often associated with irritability, anxiety, and suicidal tendencies, depression can also affect your testosterone levels. Usually, depression can lead to low self-esteem as well as low confidence. Both of these things can affect your mental health and lower your testosterone in your body. It's also been shown that low testosterone levels in depression have similar symptoms. These include mood swings, melancholy, and sleeping problems. Number 2. Your Lifestyle Our modern lifestyle requires us to sit in the same position for hours and stare at a screen. No, we're not just talking about work. We're also counting the time you spend binge-watching your favorite Netflix show. Sometimes your screen time may ruin your sleep, in turn affecting your mood. Since we use devices on a regular basis, it decreases our energy levels. In the long run, it can lead to lower testosterone levels. One of the things that acts as a catalyst is actually our next entry on the list. Number 3. Fatigue One of the most common things related to low testosterone is fatigue, especially the chronic one that doesn't go away with sleep. This type of fatigue affects your overall mental and physical health. Chronic fatigue can lead to lower testosterone levels in men. It's especially dangerous for men ages 40 and above. In such case, people might also feel the loss of bone and muscle mass. The good news is, in this case, you could probably increase your intake of protein to avoid the problem. This reminds us, we did a video on what could happen if you consume protein every day. Feel free to check it out if you haven't. Before we continue, if you're liking this video, then why not click subscribe and hit that notification bell. This way you can stay updated with our latest content. Number 4. Chemotherapy for Cancer Alright, this is one of those cases that can be reversible. During chemotherapy, a patient may face hormonal imbalance. Due to this, their testosterone levels may go really low. The patient doesn't need to worry about this because the hormones can be rebalanced with the help of treatment. But until the chemotherapy procedure continues, they would have to deal with this problem. Speaking of hormones, we did a video on balancing hormones and thyroid glands. Check it out! Number 5. Alcohol Abuse Many of you may be aware of the way alcohol impacts your heart, liver, and kidneys. Too much of this intoxicating drink and you could end up dealing with serious medical problems. Here's something else that comes along with alcohol abuse. Low levels of testosterone. How does alcohol do it? Well, alcohol damages the Leydig cells that are found in your testes. In case you were wondering, these are the cells responsible for the production of testosterone in your body. Apart from that, drinking alcohol results in the release of certain endorphins. These endorphins can help you relax, but they can also interfere with the testosterone synthesis. Number 6. Aging In many cases, low levels of testosterone don't just happen because of some health-related problem. The testosterone levels in your body also reduce with age. This is why you may not have the same level of testosterone at 60 as you did when you were 20. This is a normal aging process. Of course, it doesn't mean you can't have enough testosterone. Consuming a healthy diet along with simple lifestyle changes can assist you in maintaining it. More on that a little later. Right now, there are a few more points we need to discuss before we get to that. Number 7. Obesity all right, we'll keep this explanation as short as possible. Fat cells convert testosterone to estrogen. This lowers the amount of testosterone levels of your body. Apart from that, obesity reduces the levels of protein that carry testosterone in your blood. This protein is called sex hormone binding globulin, or SHBG. The less you have of this protein, the lower your testosterone levels will be. So if obesity lowers testosterone, losing weight must really boost it, right? Well, that, my friend, depends on how much weight you're planning to lose. That brings us to our next point. Number 8. Losing too much weight 
Losing weight is fine. In fact, if you can stay in shape, it's good for your body. The problem occurs when you lose too much weight. This is after you've burned all your fat and there's nothing left. Your body burns muscle and bone mass. This leads to a loss of testosterone levels in your blood. As a result, we wouldn't recommend that you lose weight needlessly. It'll only hamper your health. Number 9. Diabetes Many studies have claimed that low levels of testosterone is linked to diabetes. This is because men with low testosterone usually have insulin resistance. For them, it's important that they get insulin from outside. Otherwise, their blood sugar levels could get out of control. Another thing is that no researcher is sure whether diabetes lowers the levels of testosterone or if the opposite is true. But here's something experts know for a fact. Men with diabetes usually have lower testosterone levels. Number 10. Hypertension While hypertension is already quite dangerous, here's another reason to hate it. In hypertension, your body's blood pressure level rises. This causes problems for your heart. In response, the heart needs to make sure the important parts of the body are getting enough blood. So it puts more pressure on the veins and arteries, thus creating a problem. Amid the chaos, your body can't produce enough testosterone, leading to low levels of this hormone. Alright, so we've spoken about all the reasons, now it's time to talk about how to fix the problem. Number 1. Exercise Working out is one of the most common methods to raising your testosterone levels in your body. Even in people who are aged 50 and above, working out increases testosterone levels, fitness, and reaction time. Workout sessions that involve resistance training is usually the best type of exercise to give your testosterone a boost. Number 2. Protein Eat more protein and you'll see many benefits. It'll increase your muscle mass and bone strength. Apart from this, it'll also increase your testosterone. Keep in mind, eating a healthy amount of protein can aid in weight loss. In case you were wondering, dairy products, eggs, meat, and leafy green vegetables are good for boosting testosterone in your body. Number 3. Minimize Stress Stress can lead to fatigue, so if you really want to increase your testosterone levels, you'll need to cool off and relax a little bit more. A good night's rest, a long walk, or your favorite music can help you achieve this. Number 4. Get some sleep Since we've discussed sleep, we would suggest that you snooze at least 7-8 to eight hours a day. That would help with your testosterone levels in your body. Studies have suggested this. Of course, there are people who will still get by on minimal sleep. But it's still important that everyone gets the sufficient amount as it helps in the long run. Just make sure that you don't ruin your sleep cycle. Number 5. Get more vitamin D Researchers have discussed the many benefits of having vitamin D, yet there's still one that we're going to talk about right now. A 12-month study was conducted and at the end of the study, it was found that testosterone increased by 25% for those that took vitamin D supplements regularly. This is definitely going to add to vitamin D's popularity. So, are you facing issues with testosterone? Does somebody you know have this problem? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.